This is a video showing how to use spec-driven PNIDs with Fast Track Plant. I open up a project, and first I get this notification the project is not updated to use Fast Track Plant. So I switch over to the Fast Track Manage tab, and click Set Up Current Project. It adds some properties, takes care of some other setup stuff for me. I'll open a PNID. And I can draw a line using the normal tools for drawing lines. And then I'm going to go ahead and assign the tag and size. Let's start with a four inch line. Just picking some random numbers. Now, the tools for Spectre and PNIDs are on the Fast Track 2D tab, on the PNID Specs tab. So we have Assign Properties, Use Spec Parts, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on by putting in 1. I can have it show out of Spec Parts, and I can indicate whether I want to use end types. I'm going to go ahead and turn end types on, and it will ma match the end types uh, with the end types from the spec. So when I drop a gate valve in my 4-inch line, it pulls up a dialog with all of the valves that are all of the gate valves in the spec from my plant 3D piping spec. And I can pick the option of the one I want. Let's start with a flanged. Hit OK. What it does is you can see it sets the end types, but it also um, fills out some properties. So you have your part family ID your part family long description and your part, part size long description. And those all come directly from the plant 3D piping spec. Also, any other column or a property that you want to bring over from the spec will get pulled in as well, as long as you create that column and property in your, uh, on the PNID side of the objects. Let's go ahead and put a plug valve in. Globe valve. Sorry. We can put a socket load globe valve in. So to demonstrate out of spec valves, I'll go ahead and place this by hit cancel. And so what we can do now is at some point, let's say we put in some valves or we don't necessarily know the spec of the line. We can show which valves are out of spec by clicking this out of spec icon. And it will give us a visual identifier of what valves we need to update. So at any point in time, I can come back, go to assign properties, and pick which valve it needs to be. We can also customize the information as it's displayed in our, in our dialog. To do that, we go here, and we could say instead of part family long description, let's say part size long description. And let's close this project. And if we reopen it, now you can see that it's using the part size long description instead of the part family long description.